Okay, so Harley used to have this emergency repair belt kit that they sold as an accessory, mainly with baggers. And what it was, is it was a belt that was split like this. They basically took a stock belt, which would be, you know, right here. And they cut it into a kind of a V-shape. And what it was, if you snap the belt, you could fish this thing up through the primary there and put it on. And then it, the way it worked, it had three set screws, three or four. It would, and a little pack of some kind of glue, resin, epoxy, whatever you want to call it. So you fish the belt through there, you put it together, and say these here are your teeth. So the, the screws would, would Screw into these teeth that were already pre drilled. So you'd have this goofy looking set screw that would go into the, through the side here, fish through here, and then go in this side over here. And this is bad drawing, but you get the idea. So these were emergency, like only supposed, you know, like a little donut tire, only supposed to use them off to go to the service station to get a tire fixed. Or get to the dealership and get the belt fix. Same idea. So very limited use. I've only ever had to replace the belt on like three bikes that use one of these. Two of them were traveling travelers that had popped the belt and they, they stuck it on there and then came in the dealership and you know you put another belt on there. The third one was actually a regular customer. I think I want to you know this is basically 35 years ago. So I think his name was Eric. Out of 85, you notice how I do that. I have more recollection of what the bike is than customer's name. That's how it goes. So I had a red uh, 85 FLHTC. And he'd come in the dealership and I serviced his bike regularly for like major services, you know, every 10,000 miles. And then he'd do all the little services. Yeah, you know, I'd put tires on it and, you know, do pack the wheel bearings, fork oil, blah, 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 whatever. And uh, he brings it in and he says, man, I'm getting ready to go on a trip. Okay. So check his bike out. And he's got a big rock hole right in the center of the belt, which is where a rock gets pushed, you know, rock gets caught up in the belt and gets pushed through. So it looks kind of jagged. It'd be like. Be like right there. What what wasn't that big? You know, maybe maybe the size of a dime. Yeah, and they say that you know, this is from Harley that if it's toward the center of the belt and it's got a hole in it, it's not really a problem. You know, of course you'd want to get a belt fairly soon. So uh, you know, told him he, you know you need a belt, man. It's got a big hole in the center of it. And showed it to him. And He's like, how much is it? Told him. He's like, ah, I can't do that. I'm just, I'm just going to go on my trip. Okay. So his primary was leaking too, but he didn't want to fix the primary at the time. It was leaking, but it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't leaving big puddles of oil on the ground. It was just wet. So he didn't want to fix that. So I guess he goes on his trip. A year later, he brings his bike in. Brings his bike in. He's like, "Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and service it." So, I'm, you know, checking the bike out, and we got it up to on the lift, put the bags off, jack it up, pull the rear wheel off, and I noticed that the belt looks new. So I'm looking at the belt, and I'm figuring he replaced that belt on here since the last time. So I get looking at it and roll it through, and I see the three little screw heads on there. You can see the epoxy on the outside of them. So I asked him about it. I'm like, man, when'd you put that on there? He's like, oh, I'm, I broke the belt in New Mexico. I guess he was going to Sturgis, but going, he was, he was in, going around the country. So he went the, went the southern route, got through New Mexico, popped, popped the belt out there somewhere. Put his emergency belt on there and then went on to California, 
Oregon, Washington, Montana, Idaho, blah, 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 whatever, on his way over towards Sturgis. I'm looking at the mileage on the bike from the last, from the last year because it's right on the work order. And he had done just under 20,000 miles. He did like 18,000 miles since, since the service last, the major service last. And uh, I'm like, man, we need to go ahead and fix that primary leak and probably put a belt on there. He's like, yeah, go ahead and do it. So basically, calculating out, he had about 15,000 miles on this emergency belt, which you're not supposed to do. But evidently, it, it lasted long enough to get what he wanted done. And I don't even know if they still sell that kit or not. Probably not, because I, I, I know we didn't sell a whole bunch of them out of the dealership. And they didn't come with every bike. I think in the 80s, they came with every bike. Up until probably 86, maybe. I, I want to say 86 for some reason, but they used to actually come with baggers. It, it, they put them in the tour pack or in the saddlebag as part of buying the bike, and then they changed that because I guess they found out that, you know what, we're not really breaking a lot of belts out here. But uh, the belts do last pretty good. I've seen them with, them with, Almost 200,000 miles on them or more. Not ideal. You know, if, if you keep them, keep your bike fairly clean and keep your belt adjusted property, properly, they won't last quite a while. And they are quiet. So they do work pretty good. Of course, that being said, I've had them, you know, one year, I want to say 2001 maybe. They had a problem with the uh, snapping belts. And what it was is uh, that, you know, they tracked it down because Harley doesn't make the belts, you know, Gates or Goodyear or somebody else makes the belts. Uh, what was happening is they were, when they were packaging the belts, you know, you're not supposed to crimp them more than, more than so much when you when you do the belt, it's like just say it's like that. You know, you're not supposed to fold it like that. Is when they were putting whoever was packaging them at Gates or Goodyear, or whoever was making them, they were folding the belts up basically. Which if you look at it, you got aramid fibers throughout there. So when you bend them like that, it breaks the fibers. They they can take an arc, but they can't they can't take so much bending like that. And uh, I've had people, you know, take a belt and they're holding it in their hands and they're doing this to it and they'll, they'll bend it, fold it, and whatever. And lately I've seen people trying to sell belts, like use belts on eBay or whatever, and I guess people buy them. But in the picture, when they package them, they got them tied up with wire tie and they're all, I mean, they're, they're bent like almost flat. That's that's not ideal. So, so don't bend your belts up. Bad idea. Anyway, that's that's about it. That's just uh, emergency belt there. I can't remember the part number for it. And uh, they actually work pretty good. For you wouldn't think they would, but kind of hokey. It's just uh, three holes through teeth. Three or four holes. Can't remember exactly. And uh, epoxy, put epoxy on the, actually on the sets, basically a big set screw that narrows down in the center of it and goes all the way through and threads into one side of the belt there. Cover the outside of it with epoxy. And whatever epoxy resin or glue or whatever you want to call it they use, it held up pretty, pretty good. Over that real quick. In case you've never seen one or even heard of one, some people haven't. Uh, good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great week coming up.